Hello, greenies. Ramblin' Ribby with Green Magic Gardening, the people's channel. And the channel where you are more than just a number. That is right, my friends. <laughs> I repeat myself over and over, and I will continue to repeat myself over and over. <laughs> but um, today, what do we got going on today, guys? So, you guys seen these last on Monday. And it is now Wednesday, guys. So, these need to come down. The Mephisto, big three bears OG. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> it, need, it doesn't need to come down yet. And its sister, the big one back there, is going to stay up for now. Um, that one's coming down today. That one's coming down today. That one's coming down today. Um, let's check in the bathroom really quick. Well, actually, first, let me give you guys the rundown for all the new people. This is a big jumbo 4x8 tent, guys. Um, we're for the exhaust. We use the AC Infinity. It's all turned off right now because you wouldn't be able to hear. But AC Infinity T6, sucking out all the air. Uh, keep a fan back there. Another fan back in there. These are two Spider Farmer SE 7000s. Complete wall-to-wall -wall coverage. Absolutely insane, guys. This side is all auto flowers. This side is the famous Nanas from Square One Genetics. All photo periods, guys. And DTF and lights out. Four, there's four Nanas. Two DTF and two lights out, guys. And you can see it is an absolute jungle in there. We got all of our clones. So then we can keep all the strains we want to keep. Okay, everything is in five gallon um, buckets, guys, with HP Pro Mix. And uh, this side we've been given the Maxi Grow for its entire veg life, right? And then we switch over to the General Hydroponics three-part. Um, these girls here, let's just say they are Gaia Green, 444, and the 284. Uh, um, in the same thing, in ProMix, HP ProMix, and in between waterings, we give CalMeg. Well, in between waterings, or feedings on this one, and... You know, just here and there, when we feed this one, we throw in the cow mag. And, of course, the MPK Raw. Look at these, though, guys. They're really happy today. So, I've been doing some of the training, as you guys see. Remember to hit the like, guys. Like the video. I encourage you guys, keep dropping comments. Let me know where you're from. Simply leave an emoji, you know, thumbs up, whatever, guys. It gets you entered for the giveaway, which I'm going to be letting you guys go on to the, the website I go on to. And you could pick out of eight pages of amazing seeds, and I will buy them for you and send them to you. Or I will send you a prepaid visa, and two of you guys will get picked randomly at the end of every month. I've already done it once. And uh, their seeds made it quick, too. So, yeah, guys. Drop a like. Drop a comment. Check. Make sure your notifications are on. And I think that's it. Giving you guys the rundown. Um, these are all purple ties, too. These three. One, two, three. That'll be coming down. And I wanted to show you guys the one that's taken down in the bathroom. So I had the door open actually a bit earlier, I forgot. So I swear it sits right at 60 and it's usually at 19.7. It was, well, all night it was anyways. But guys, I'm telling you, it's all in the dry. And this bathroom, because it's an outside wall right there, it's so nice and it just feels damp and cold. And it's, I'm telling you, it's so much better than drying it in my closet. I'm gonna show you guys a couple buds I trimmed. These are some buds I trimmed last night. 
a little early and left them out here because I knew they'd dry and I've been smoking them all night and today and holy they're good they turned out really good guys to be honest I won't be smoking much more of it it got me too high I don't like that I don't like that feeling it's it's potent so we do the old uh, see if we can pick it up yeah with one arm pretty easily so they're gonna need I'll probably give them close to my mini jug eats. It's 1.5 liters. Last of last water you guys seen. So many are coming out of the bottoms. So when my friend gets here, I'm gonna get him to hit the camera. I'm gonna chop these down. We're gonna make some room and we can spread these out because this is a jungle guys. And I gotta start getting some of them back once trained as you see. It got too much light on this side when I had this side turned up. I was getting some from uh, that light. And that's what happens, guys. It, when it's either too much nutrients or light, the, um, the leaves will twist and curl like that. So, but I will pause it until my friend gets back and we will uh, we'll get into this. Cause, wow, I'm loving the look of this. Uh, guys, so I took down, I took down the, uh, I was supposed to get footage of the plants that I took down, and I apologize, guys, I didn't, but I do, I'm going to get footage right now, right now for you guys. Oh, that's a little bit low, I have to leave the door open a smidge and the humidity will go back up, so... That's them. That's that really dark one, the smaller one that was like. Is this purple tie? They're all, you guys have seen these purple tie over and over and over. I had a 50 pack plus two other packs of them. So I've grown like 60 of these or something. Man, why well, you guys can't even see out there. It's like storming crazy out. But um, these are gonna turn out nice, guys. So. Stupid me, me and my buddy started parking and I didn't even, I made a mess of everything and I didn't even end up getting any footage, I'm such a dummy, but, but it is what it is guys and I ended up, um, he ended up taking two ounces, I can't believe, so that one plant, you guys remember that one that I super cropped and bent the whole bud right over, like the purple tie, not the big Mephisto one that's still in there, but the purple tie, um, Sorry guys, jeez. But um, I he took two ounces of the best buds. So this plant, I got an ounce and 10 grams in here. An ounce and 10 grams. I'm gonna pour out most of it here. Oh, don't fall back in. Which is gone tomorrow. Some of them turned out beautiful, nice and nice and dense too, some of them, and some of them are fluffier. But look at them. They turned out nice, guys. I'm really happy with this with this yield. And two over two. I gave him over. Um well, because he's my buddy, right? It was like 60 something grams I gave him. And we were all messed up. <laughs> I haven't seen him in so long, too. And uh, yeah, I was supposed to get footage of that too. I wanted, I told him, did not leave before I got footage, but he wanted to leave first thing in the morning and I was not filming it. So it was, oh, let's say two ounces there and there's an ounce and 10 grams here. That's gonna be gone tomorrow. And then this is what's left guys. I'm not putting any of this in. You see what I mean? Buds like this will not make it in none of this will make it in it's all that's all well garbage you can do whatever you want with it i'll smoke that is what i will do i'll smoke it like how are you going to trim up stuff like that right that's what i mean about the purple tats the only thing i don't like about it is you get a bunch of buds like that but it's probably my fault not training them properly not lollipopping them up high enough because well you guys will see I'm gonna get footage of all of the rest and there's gonna be some really nice dense buds. So yeah, I will see you guys then. The max, 
That's a big plant. That's a lot lighter than I thought it was, it was going to be. This one, uh, overall, it's okay. I'd give it a 5 out of a 10, maybe, you know? And the purple tie, the nicest purple ties I've been doing, I'd give it a 7 out of a 10. And the best I've grown is probably an 8 out of 10, would be the OG Kush that I grew when I first started, guys. It was just phenomenal. But this is not too bad. You know, I wanted to let them go a little bit longer, but I have to spray this down and get rid of these freaking things, man, once and for all, and I don't want to do it. I can't be spraying these down. Like, in this stuff that I'm using is a lot stronger than, like, Safer's. I feel, I'm pretty sure anyways. It's uh, got the cautions and stuff on it. Safer's is, like, safe. Like, your pets could ingest the leaves after, and it's not going to hurt anything, right? But uh, this stuff, it says, yeah, no, don't let it get on your skin and all that. So, um... Yeah, I don't care. I got to get rid of these things. Alrighty. Oh, guys, another thing. Um, I have to cover these buckets up. Do you know what I found when I looked in these ones? Let me see if I can show you guys still. Yeah, look at green algae. So I'm thinking, oh, man, the holes aren't big enough. It's keep keeping water in. No, that would cause root rot. It's not going to cause algae. What's happening is it's getting just enough light through that plastic enough to just grow a little bit of algae with that moisture. So it didn't really affect the plants. And you can, I know it is because look at this one that didn't get as much light on the pot um, was fine. So I got to cover them in black duct tape. To be honest, now after all this work and stuff, I, I like growing in these, but... You know, you might as well just stick with fabric pots. But I'm going to keep using these for now. But fabric pots seem to be king. When it comes to organic like this and you don't have the water to run off, go with fabric pots. But if you got to go to runoff, these are good. I love these five-gallon pots, but... Um, or buy black ones. Makes sense, right? If you buy black ones. Because you can just see, I can see through it just... A little bit right so it's just enough to grow some algae there's the giant cola guys I'm gonna try to keep it in one big cola as it dries and see what happens but I don't know I, don't know. I wouldn't grow it again that's all I'd say I give it a five out of a ten guys so I'm gonna get it hung up in the bathroom with the rest and we'll come back and we'll have a hell of a trim video guys I'll see you then. Hello, my friends. So we are back on Christmas Day. Finally, we get to see what it looks like, guys, in here with just four Nanas on that side. And the two GTF and the two lights out on this side, guys. Isn't that nice? So finally, the tent has been taken over with photo period plants. I could have swore I had other footage too. But so since I didn't get all the harvest footage, but you guys remember the big first one that I took down with the bud that I bent right over like that. That one was three ounces and 10 grams. So that's the only one we've done so far. And I will get numbers on the rest and I will get some trimming and all of that stuff. Actually, let me uh, give you guys a little bit right now. It's been staying pretty good. Look at those big donkers now. They might they might turn out better than I thought, actually, now that they're drying out. We got all kinds in here, guys, to go. That's that other tent too. All right, whatever. That's the four from the from the two by two. This is all that one. And all of these are from the other tent. So they definitely need some more time yet. They seem to be drying out really fast still though. I don't get it. Like the temperature and humidity is on point. As long as it don't smell like hay, I'm good. <laughs> so guys, um, like I was saying in the other videos, see that? So I found a thrip, but it was like an orange one. Like I said, it's w like weird, different kind of thrips. But um, like No Your Girl was saying, uh, they, they really don't hurt your yield. He found some in week six and seven of flower and still pulled five pounds, which I've had them many times too, and they don't 
the only ones that hurt your yield are those ones that um need to shit all over your leaves it's really weird and it's just um it's their like poop pretty much and they leave the white streaking everywhere those ones i know for a fact will kill your yield do you guys remember with the uh, six autos that i had to throw outside because um they were infesting them like i could look and see like I could find at least 30 a day on the plants, easily. I have searched these over and over and over, and I've only found one. So what I did, like I said in the other videos, I drenched these plants from head to toe in Thrip Killer. Dr. Doom's Thrip Killer from Indoor Gardens, or Indoor Farmer, sorry. That website is amazing. I don't, it's in water. They're, they're a Canadian site, so I don't know. I don't think you guys could use them. But what a wicked website I found. Cheap everything. I don't have to go anywhere else anymore except to get my medium. That's it. Because nowhere ships medium unless you pay out the butthole. <sighs> so, yeah, guys, we're going to be watering. 6.3. I'm going to hit them all with my water jug. Where did I put it? That stuff right there, guys. I emptied that whole bottle. That massive bottle. I'm not freaking, I'm done screwing around with these thrips, man. It's really stressing me out. I just keep getting these things. So what I'm gonna do too, is I'm gonna take these out. I'm gonna clean. I'm gonna clean up in that thing. This fan that's off, it's freaking dirty. I'm gonna clean, clean, clean. Get everything nice and clean, wipe everything down. I soaked these in head to toe. I thought it would, uh, I didn't think they'd like it at all. And I thought really they'd, they'd have to take a couple days to bounce back. Look at them. This was last night I did it. I soaked them. All the stock up underneath. I literally, it says to not get it on your skin too, but I literally spray it and be going like this. Like I made sure they were soaked underneath. The whole plant's drenched from head to toe. I'm not kidding you. And they look happy today. They do, but they need to be watered. So I got my, so I'm all over the place today, guys. I got my, my clones going there. But what I'm going to do, guys, I hope you guys can't see my ugly mug. Because I look like a bag of poo poo today. Here, let me get this one. So we're gonna do this. What I'll do, guys, to make sure each one gets some. I'm going to do one of these jugs full, which is pretty close to two liters. And you see how I got that one with duct tape? Because of the algae growth, guys. It's just enough light gets through these to cause a little bit of algae growth. So these are pretty shaded right now because of these massive plants. So I don't think uh, it didn't seem to hurt the plants that had it either. But it makes sense, guys. That's why the horticulture ones are either dark blue or black, right? I didn't even think of that. I'm such a tool. I'm like, what the heck? The water's not draining properly. It's getting root rot. No, that, or sorry, it's causing algae from not draining properly. No, that would cause root rot. So I have to go around each one with black duct tape. It's a pain in the butt, but you guys know I'll do what it takes. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that for each and every one of them. And That'll pretty be much, that's gonna be pretty much it, guys. The update's tomorrow. Um, we got all the other ones taken down. I'm just trying to think if I'm missing anything. So, yeah, so the, the yield video will come in like a week, maybe next week. Yeah, next week I'll have the numbers and all that for you guys. I'll combine it with this, with the update on these. It'll be a update on these slash um, harvest yield video. And then next week we'll get these trained down We'll get them all trained down like I've been doing with some of them. You guys see? We'll get them trained down. We'll get them thinned out. We're not flipping on a flower until this whole thing, until these are grown as much as I can possibly do in this tent. And then we'll raise the lights up. And what I think I'm going to end up doing is taking off the drivers and zip tying the light right to the bars eventually. Guys, we're going to go serious. I want to grow some monsters. But anyways... So just going on and on. So thank you guys. I'll be back tomorrow.
All right, guys, so we're doubling up this week on this video, guys. Look what I have done. Guys, I'm so nervous. I just bought 100 packs of Oasis Genetics. I did a little bit of research on them. I can't find out too much. They're a Canadian breed, but I noticed like where they sell them. They sell for a lot. Um, a, a 10 pack, there's four packs and 10 packs. If you buy one four pack, it's like $54.99. I'm like, holy crap. And so I got a really good deal on them, but I still spent a I still spent a buttload of money, guys, and it worries me. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, it worries me. So um I don't know. But um the prices on those guys are gonna be amazing. Don't know how I'm gonna go about doing that, but you know, I had to pull the trigger. I gotta take a chance. You know, where you're not gonna get anywhere if you don't take a chance in life, right? You can't play it safe all the time. So Anyways, we'll, uh, I'll show you guys that when I get it. it. comes with the whole stand, display rack. Like, it's so cool. But, um, I put the lights up as high as they could go. And look at that. You notice that one? It's higher than that one. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Because it all depends where you screw that in. So, I'm going to end up having to um, twist or zip tie them to the roof anyways. But, uh... Look what we got going on, guys. The clones are awesome. Seven days done, rooted, bang, in solo cups. So, lights out at the back. They're kind of like the Nanas. DTF at the front. Not too impressed with these ones so far. Like, yeah. So, I did a little bit more lollipop and stuff. I put this trellis net in. Now, these ones all look good. They need water today, guys. That's why they're droopy like that. They were all perky last night. Like, more or less like this one, but... Even nicer, like whoop. Guys, look at still. And like somebody said, it's not thrips that does that. Cause it's it's like deformities, guys. I can't find any more thrips. I soaked these down in that stuff. Dr. Doom's uh, thrip killer soaked them. You know, and I've been checking all the bottoms down here. I can't find thrips anywhere, guys. There's my cat's been chewing on that one. But uh I don't get it everybody's getting it too it's happening all around the board man it's happening all around the board that people are getting the same thing and they can't figure it out it's so weird but so i was pulling this one over guys and the middle stock snapped in there of course freaking bull i had to tape it but look at that one's a mess man like don't laugh at my trellis job guys this trellis net, I probably should have got a better one that comes out more like this because I don't know. It looks like it's more for a three by three, but it's keeping them down. We don't have too much more time, guys, and we can just flip them into flower. I don't know how I feel about these nanas. They're really all lanky, lanky plants. We'll have to see. It's all in the bud, right? So we're going to water them. Each of them is getting Let me pull it back so you guys can see me action. Each of them is getting one of those. So yeah, no more milk jugs, guys. I like this. This is pH to 6.2. And now I just do a little simple thing like that. And Oh, and I diatomaceous the earth, guy. Diatomaceous the earth. I put diatomaceous earth um, in every pot. That's why I let them dry out a little bit because I wanted to let them dry out. So if it was critters, it maybe would help. So they dry in between waterings. They dry out and it actually does come back to like really dusty. So hopefully that will help deter any thrips. I can't find anything though, guys. I like, I don't understand. I've never had this problem. I've never used such powerful lights though. Some people are saying it's because of the, the lights. They make the plants freak out. Some people are saying it's genetics. Some people are saying it's thrips. Some people are saying it's a, a little grub that comes up and eats the, <laughs> the leaves. Um, some people are saying it's a caterpillar. And I'm not laughing at anybody's guess. It's all like, I, I don't know. I have no clue what it is. So, you know, 
I have no clue, so I can't laugh at anybody's guess. It's just, I find it funny that, you know, nobody could figure it out. So, I, I don't understand. I just don't understand. But yeah, so this watering thing works amazing, guys. This is pH to 6.2. I don't know if I said that, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna hit them all, each with each one, with one in, it's close to two liters, guys, I guess, because if it's right there, it's two or a liter and a half. I use, I go up a little bit more, so. What do you guys think of the trellis job? Do I need to trellis this side or what? So, but we're gonna leave it at that. I will come back in a few, couple more days, guys. There's not much more else for me to do. Just waiting to flip it on the flower, so. Pretty cool stuff, pretty cool stuff. I'm thinking I'm gonna get about two pounds, guys. Like, no, your girl said you could pull five pounds with this setup. You can. You definitely could pull up to five pounds with this setup. But will I pull five pounds? Probably not. I'm going for two to four. Quarter pound, solid, nice buds per plant. And then a bunch of crappier buds, you know. You guys know how I am. But anyways, we'll wrap it up for... Hello, greenies. It's a new year now. And I just wanted to tell you guys how absolutely blessed I feel to have built this community like <laughs> it's mind-blowing never I had all well I always had plans on making it to this level on YouTube but you know in the back of my head especially when you first start out and it takes you six months to get 100 subscribers I was like man I don't know like get to my goal of 20,000, 100K, it's never gonna happen, right? But there's light at the end of the tunnel, my friends. Like, this channel's just blowing up. So look at the engagement, look at the comments, the likes, like it's just out of nowhere. Thank you guys, I feel so absolutely blessed. I'm gonna keep putting in this work. So many channels fall off and just give up and I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you, you can count on me. I'm going to be here. The only way I will not be making these videos is if I literally can't. That's the only way, you know, I would never stop doing this. I have found what I want to do with my life. And that is making YouTube videos, growing cannabis and helping people that are just starting out. I, I, I love this. I love everything about it. I love all you guys. This has changed my life drastically. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. So I don't want to reweigh that. That was 67 grams there. It shut off. That's um, that stuff that will not go. I'll just give that away if you guys know what I mean. So and that's off of the. Um, I had to redo this because this video is going to be way too long. But I had to say that to you guys, man. Because every day I wake up, it's like a dream. I'm just like, holy crap, man. The subscribers are going up. The comments are going up. It feels so nice to finally be making some real progress. Like, I've put in so, so much work. So, 67 grams there, guys. Right? And that crap. And I already did this, but... There's 137 here. This is the um, this is the uh, three bears OG. Those two big plants, guys. 14 gram bud, boom! <laughs> it's a 14 gram bud. I shit you not. So. I know I didn't get a lot of the other plants, a lot of the other stuff on freaking film, guys, because it goes so quick. I can't even keep it long enough because everybody that depends on me, that doesn't go to dispensaries, it's I can't I can't grow enough quick enough, right? So as soon as go as soon as it's done, they want it, and I'm like, it's not even cured or anything, but they don't care, right? I'm like, it'll get a lot better if you just. But who wants to go without, right? So I'm, I think I should be able to get enough built up here soon that that won't be a problem. 
And the three by or the two by two with the four purple ties, guys. Those ones, I'm. Um, it'll be a proper harvest video, like with all the numbers, and I'm not getting rid of it. I have enough now that I don't have to get rid of it instantly. So that one will be a bit better. But there's about seven and a half ounces that are unaccounted for, and that's on the low, low end. There's a lot more than that. But I have to be realistic and. I always round down is what I mean. Like, um, I should have kept better track of all of this, guys. But there's 137 grams of this stuff. It turned out a lot better than I thought it was going to. It actually smokes pretty nice. It smells pretty nice. But I'm so sick of LARF, guys. I'm so sick of having bottom buds like that. So I am doing an experiment in the 3x3 with those four beautiful organic plants. I went totally aggressive on two of them. You guys might think I'm crazy, but I have to do an experiment in it because it seems like only the top buds ever turn out beautiful. And then you get like, I could trim that up and put it in, but you know, just a lot of that. It's always the lower stuff. So on two plants in the 110, I'm just going aggressive on them and I'm going to see if it makes a difference. We're just going to pretty much keep the top buds and that's it. But here's a final shot of this guys before we post up. Look at the trellis job I've done. I'm giving them um, close to two liters of water a day. That water jug full. They're going to get it again today. And I add in the silicon, the CalMeg um, usually. I'll usually do that and then once and then I'll do water once and you guys see in most of the videos but look at that tell me that's not amazing we really need to flower these out soon guys I think I just need to flip it on a flower like within the next week I'm thinking because look at that I did a wicked job on these I'm uh I'm really proud of myself with this one Turned out better than I thought it was gonna. Replaced that net with the one. I did have another three by three, or three by three one. What am I talking about? I did have another net um, that was better. That other one was two big squares. So boosted these up with buckets. I gotta put another bucket under that one. So that's what we got going on there. But that's bug deterrent. I got more of those over here, I believe. I don't know where did they go. It's a mess in here, guys. From Leaf Cycle, you guys can check them out. I do usually have them posted in the description. Not sponsored by them or anything. Man, this camera drives me nuts, I'm telling you. There, at least you guys can see the website. www.leafcycle.net. They got a lot of stuff. Really cool website, too. So, like I said, I will. Uh, I don't have to be sponsored by a product to uh, push their product, guys. Just like Grove Bags, not sponsored by them. www.grovebags.com, amazing. Not sponsored by the tree uh, trim tray anymore either. I don't make a cent off of that. I absolutely love my tray. I got uh, three trays actually in total because I need three trays because I'm always doing so many different grows and I want to keep them separate. Look at those beautiful ones. Love my trays. So that's going to be it for today, guys. Just want to say thank you. Keep hitting that like, guys. Remember, 16 strains, 16 different strains of bottle flowers, my friends. Email me for more information, guys. Trust me, you want to. Got a hundred packs. Hearing really good things about these guys. I'm gonna have, um, I'm keeping 15 packs for myself, or 16 packs for myself. So, you guys are gonna be seeing this a lot in the future. Gingy's like, yep, 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 yep. Love it. So, thank you guys. Make sure you drop a comment and like. You know, love hearing from you guys. <laughs> Look at this cat. Ribby Boy and Ginger, signing off.